I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Uh, this video is just really to inform you that we have a new book which is published and it's for free. Now, sometimes you see comments in the, in the in here in the chat and they are silly. And, uh, you know, silly people, they say silly things as usual. So we have this silly person, he said, before even we start, he said, in India there's 29 states. Only one of them speak Tamil language. So, Very, very silly people. It's like going to the buffet and you have an open buffet. And you say, uh, uh, really? You want to feed only one state? Silly. Silly. Don't get married. Your wife, she will leave you. So today, uh, we want to first thank the, the brother who did the work. For sure, I do not know him as usual as all those who did uh, translate my books. And as you see, we give them for free. Praise the Lord. He, he made us able to do so. And this is a translation for the deception of Allah. And uh, if it is 30 or 40 millions or even 1 million who spoke it, I'm so glad what we can give it for free for even one person. So for those silly people who complain that's not only everybody in India speak it. Well, I believe everybody in Sri Lanka at least speak it. So we have one country covered by this, at least. So yes, India, Sri Lanka, and many other countries, they speak this language. And we are glad to be able to share it for, for free with, with them. And again, we are thankful for those who do translation voluntarily. The translation work is not easy. Take a lot of effort, a lot of time. And um, for sure, I do not know what is there, what is, you know, I mean, I don't speak a single word of what is there, you know, but we trust the translator to be giving a good translation. So I'm very thankful for those who did translation for all my books, you know, and I'm sure they do not need me to thank them. You know, they, they, they will receive the reward from the Lord himself, for this is a mission for humanity. And for me, all what I can do, I just give it for free. Uh, I can be greedy and ask for money, and I will not publish any of my books for free. But, uh, you know, we will not take money with us to the grave. <clears throat> and those who understand what money for, then they should use it for what it's made for. As long as you have enough, you are rich. Anyone who have more than enough, he is, you know, the money is useless. I mean, more than enough is, is useless. A person who have enough for dinner, for housing, for, you know, whatever his life is, uh, he is the same as a person who have a lot. And actually, maybe the one who have a lot, he don't sleep because he's worried about his money. So, uh, uh, the Lord, he gave us for free and we do our best. We cannot be the same like him. We wish to be able to do the same as he do, uh, but we do our best. 
uh, you misunderstood what I had said. Well, what you said is very silly still. Even if I misunderstood it, try to fix it. There's only one state in India speak, uh, uh, speak uh, Tamil and you were laughing. And this is your icon. Isn't that your icon? Is that a laugh? <clears throat> so learn next time if you want to make a comment, not to be embarrassment for you. Because if it's one state or half a state, what that will make a difference for me? Aren't they people a human like us? Don't they deserve our help? We do what we can. If we have for all of India the language like Urdu, we will be given it in Urdu. We don't have it yet. So why you are making this icon here? Do you know what this icon means? Still, you are very silly, my friend. Don't talk again, otherwise it's going to be more embarrassment. And you know me, I don't take, uh, you know, I don't sugarcoat people. You know, you, you say something stupid, I will call you stupid. You like it, you don't like it, who cares? Anyway, uh, I might go live on air today again, but it's really, really cold. We have a very bad storm and the internet is horrible. And actually, I was waiting for the internet to get better. It was really, it looked like the cold is affecting it badly. Uh, so if I can go back on air, I will. Let us see what will happen. Uh, is CP make Urdu? My friend, I don't speak Urdu. What I can do, should I, should, should I translate to Urdu? And I don't speak Urdu? That would be a miracle. I'm not the, the one of the disciples of Jesus who speak languages. So, uh, people need to help. As this person he did. Well, help. Go ahead. You know, meet with some friends and uh, make a project to translate. Like if... If you get uh, uh, 20 people to help, and each one of you decide to, the, to translate uh, like 30 pages, you finish the book very fast, right? Uh, so we hope soon we will have the Urdu translation and we will, uh, you know, we will be happy to post it. Uh, and by the way, I receive emails about people complain about the same guy, you know, now he changes the channel from Islam to debate Islamic Christianity. They are telling me that this guy is uh, playing as if he is me. Now you have to be a fool to know that, that, to think that he is me because simply this person is just posting videos. I'm not there, right? So how in the world anyone want to think that this is me? If you are a fool, you are a fool. What we can do? same time if he is really doing that i can just uh, flag three of his videos and take all of his channel down so we will watch and see if he is really doing that i will not allow anyone to to fool people using my name uh i support any of you to post my videos and even make money from uh, like the ads in youtube no problem but don't claim to be me that will be a big fraud i warn you uh, anyway uh, I appreciate all people who repost my videos. I encourage them to do so. And if you can make money from my videos, good for you. I'm happy for you. Why not? Uh, let us see. I was wondering if I can ask the translation. The sub, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, well, it's jump. Okay, actually, I was wondering if I can translate your other books. Uh, to French, I will translate uh, for free. If you just contact me, my, my friend, the one who speaks French in Patreon, and we can discuss about it. I have only one book in French now, so maybe you can help in the other ones. Uh, Le Secret du Prophet, to the Aura Prophet. Do we have any uh, any question before we finish for today? This is just a short video to announce, and the link is down in the info. All right, just a click, and please don't just click and uh, you know uh, download it, because even if you don't speak that language, maybe one day you met somebody in Facebook or whatever, you know, friend, somebody. You want to give him a gift. You can send him a link. You can. You can post it in the, in, the, in the G drive. Don't just leave it in that uh, link there because that link can disappear too, right? So uh, download the link, download the, the book. And even if you don't speak the language, you might speak to a group of people from uh, India in 
in Facebook or whatever, you know? And then you say, okay, we're not, and I have a book for you, you better read it, they talk about Islam. So those who don't speak the language, still they should download the book because you never know, right? Uh, aren't you, are you not your book translate to Indonesian language? Yes, my book in Indonesian already. We have them already, they are posted. My books to Indonesian language already is posted. The admin can post you for the link and you can download. So now we have my books translated to many, many languages. Like lately we, we, we post the Chinese for free. Um, and maybe I will try to do, maybe tomorrow I will post the Persian for free too, the Persian. Uh, but this is only the deception of Allah. You know, we want uh, tra translation for uh, uh, Quran and science and uh, 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 sex and Allah. But deception of Allah is a, is, a, is a big book, have a lot of information, more than enough actually to make Islam shish kebab, you know. So it's a, it's a great project. Is there a book in English? Yes, my books, all of them, they are in English actually. Those are translation from the English. Any other question? So I hope, I hope soon, uh, we will have my books translated to all languages in the world. We have in Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, Dutch, uh, English, uh, Mandarin, Chinese, uh, Indonesian, uh, Malaysia, Tamil now, Sri Lanka, uh, Albanian, uh, Croatian, whatever, I mean, you name it. And all of this because of the help of people. Uh, people in Indonesia, uh, Indonesia, they told you that Hafs, uh, Quran is not made by Hafs. Well, we don't we don't say we, nobody says the Quran of Hafs is made by Hafs. The Muslims they say that this is the recitation of Hafs, which means according to uh, his memory, you know. So have you ever heard of a God? He preserved his book by somebody exist more than two hundred years after Muhammad by memorizing it. And this guy Hafs is known to be a, a fraud. The Muslim, they accuse him to be a fraud. He do the same as some people, they steal my book and they claim this is their book. This is what Hafs, he say, you know, he do. Him and his father, because Hafs, he learned the Quran from his father, both are a fraud. And this is in their website. So when the Muslim, they say things, they are funny. Secondly, uh, what is the rest of the Quran? What if Hafs, I mean, can, you, can you imagine there's a person, he already memorized a book letter by letter and he will never forget even a dot that is impossible. That is impossible. That can happen if a child, a child, you know, he, he this is happen only in, if you are a child. Like if you are a child, you can learn because your, your head is empty, you know, simply. Like a, I can remember a commercial since I was a kid. You know, I remember it word by word. It's what child do. Uh, but an adult learning the Quran, that is impossible. Can you imagine that there's a guy, his name is Al-Bukhari, he can remember thousands and thousands of hadith without making a mistake in one word? That's impossible, right? So this is all is, is a stupid thing. And they don't have even, they don't have a book of Hafs. They don't have a book written by Hafs. They don't have a book by Al-Bukhari. They don't have a book written by uh, uh, Sahih Muslim. So what are the books? You know? Uh... They said to you that Hafs is not the same as Hafs. Well, his name is Hafs ibn Asim. So how is not the same? <laughs> Those are silly people, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is different fish. Like this person here, he put a fish. Yeah, Hafs is different fish, my brother. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, what you can say, I mean, those poor people in Indonesia, they are poor people. They, they don't even speak the language. They have no idea what the Quran is saying. And they, they repeat what they heard. You know, garbage in, garbage out. Just yesterday, we have a, a guy who's an Arab. Remember, Faisal, he called us. He was jumping like a monkey. He did not know what to say. And he's an Arab. 
He's an Arab. And is it then in the Indonesian, they make videos saying that Christian friends do not know, don't speak Arabic. And the guy yesterday, I, I said to him, you spoke Arabic now? I said, no, I don't speak Arabic. He said, no, you spoke Arabic? I said, no, I don't speak Arabic. So it was funny that Muslims, they make videos saying, Christian friends do not know Arabic. Like, so what I speak? What is the language I speak with people? I mean, what is that? You know? So they are funny. They are dummy. They don't know how to defend their the religion. How in the world somebody do not speak the language he can explain the language, explain the book? And how you are a person praying to a God you don't know the language you are praying with? You know, what the point of this stupid thing? Why the, you know, it's, this is an Arab, Arab people, you know, they want to be the master of the world. When Osama bin Laden, he went to Afghanistan, they treated him as God for a very simple reason, that he's an Arab. I know a story of, of somebody he was studying in uh, 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 in, the, in the old Yugoslavia in Al Bosna, uh, but just because he speak Arabic, you know, they asked him to be an imam. He was looking for a job desperately. He needed a job. His family they could not send him money no more. He's studying abroad, so he needed a job. They told him you speak Arabic, right? They said he said yes. He said you want to be the imam of the mosque. He said yes, but he's a Christian. He's an Arab Christian. He became the imam of the mosque. Nobody speak Arabic. And he was saying all oh, whatever he wants, I mean, making fun of Islam in front of them, and nobody noticed. Just to speak Arabic, you are God. You know? Uh, this is a very, very uh, silly cult, and there is no base of it. There's no bones, you know, it's, there's no spine of this cult. Anything is acceptable, anything is possible. And uh, uh, the Quran is wonderful. And the second you ask a question about the Quran, things is messed up. Duct tape. You know? Yeah, he became an imam of the mosque in Bosnia. He walked there for, I don't know, a year or two. I forgot how long. He's, in, he's an Arab Christian. You know? Just because he speaks Arabic, he became the imam. They are desperate, like, you're an Arab? Wow, that's good. Can you be our Imam, brother? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Speak about Hamas. No. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any other question? Do we have any Muslim? Have a question? I saw in the news in Indonesia there is a guy he you know he did fornication, so they did they, they did this uh, he slashed uh, the women one hundred time and the guy is t ten time. Why the guy is ten time and the women one hundred time? And you know what? All all of those who they are uh, uh, practicing the Sharia law, they are the number one fornicators. What a garbage cult. Oh. Why most of people in Indonesia claim to be descended from Muhammad? Well, uh, you see, when you are, uh, when you are an, an idiot without, without honor, you are descended to anyone. You think you are making an honor to yourself. If you, you will not find an Arabic Christian saying, I am descendant from Muhammad, because that is an insult. That is an insult to him and his family to be descendant from someone he is filthy, he's a criminal, he's very extremely bad. Uh, Muhammadan, you know, not only, I mean, Indonesian, I don't know how Indonesian they can say such a thing. You are in Asia and Muhammad is a white man, but you know, things happen. Yeah. <laughs> Al Qazafi is descendant from Muhammad, the king of Morocco, descendant from Muhammad, the king of Jordan is descendant from Muhammad. Uh, uh, Saddam Hussein descended from Muhammad. Every scumbag in the earth is descended from Muhammad. Why? Just because they want to rule. You know? This is the only way to control the people. They claim, and who they are to say or not. All of them, they are descended from Muhammad. And that's explained why they are criminals, maybe. The only one is descendant from Muhammad. He can be claiming, like he have, let us say, some proofs of lineage to that. But not really to Muhammad, to the daughters of 
the stepdaughters of Muhammad uh, is the king of Jordan and that explain why he is in his family they are the biggest fraud in the world they are literally CIA agents CIA agent all of them the father the son the brother the whole family they are the puppy of America in the Middle East the salary of the king the, everything is paid by USA everything otherwise the kings will not be there for, for a day uh, his grandfather he brought by the British intelligent and they used him to make the Arab unite against the Ottoman so it was a tool to destroy the Ottoman Empire they got them a guy claim that he is descended from Muhammad so which one you want to follow the Ottoman Caliphate the scam or the holy man descended from Muhammad the holy man he is nothing but a, but but a person who worked for the for the her majesty the queen of england he's a fraud they brought him to the middle east they 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 kick out the ottoman and then he uh, they made him a king and then he made his three sons kings one for iraq one for syria and later all of them they are killed by muslims anyway except in jordan so you know that like, uh, islam is used by the way by western government big big time through centuries uh, many of you heard of the story of Lawrence the, uh, of Arabia. How many of you heard of Lawrence of Arabia? There's a movie about it. It's true. This is a true story, by the way. But for sure, the movie is a movie. It's not consistent. But the guy is a true super person. He was sent by the intelligent in order to conquer the Ottoman Empire. And he was successful. One person, you know. He joined them. He became a Mujahideen. But he is, a, you know, he is like James Bond in his time. They always do this, and they use this religion to conquer each other. And uh, uh, and, and the, the the English people they wanted fighters to join them. They are short of fighters in India, so they convince a group of people that there is a guy. He is the Messiah. His name is Mirza Mirza Ghulam. He used to work in the post office of Her Majesty the Queen. They give him salary from the Queen. They give him a a title. And then this person, he made a fatwa saying, whoever joined the army of the queen, he is supporting God, supporting Allah. So they start joining the, you know, they are not short of armed, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, we have Ahmed here. Ahmed supposedly, he did fast for 10 centuries and he come to us with the, with the question. Let us see what Ahmed is saying. Even though I'm not planning to stay long but we will take uh, some muslims for a snack uh, ahmad here is saying let us put him in the screen and try not to laugh and here you see how the muslims they expose their religion by themselves so ahmad is saying in arabic after the crucifixion of jesus hmm, and he died a very humiliated death who was the one in control of the world and all the creatures for three days and there and he is in the ground i want a, uh, an answer which is uh, convincing uh, ahmed your name is Sa uh, saru sarawi okay ahmed sarawi uh, first of all we believe in the trinity right so uh, uh, first of all when when you say who was controlling well god the father is still there and God the Holy Spirit and even God the Son because they killed the body nobody can kill really God this is why it's called resurrection even you as Abdul when you die you claim that when you go in the grave you are not dead because the torture of the grave right the angels they come to you they ask you questions so are you dead or not so this is very stupid of the Islamic mythology to ask a question against their own because you are dead and now there's a scorpion will go inside your anus and he will bite you and there's a, there's a snake have 99 heads and each head have seven heads is going to go inside your anus. And the, the angels coming with a hammer asking you, who is this guy? What is your religion? Who is your God? So are you dead or not? So you are in the grave. Who is in control of the earth? Let us say you are now is the one who is God, but now in the grave, but now you are alive. Are you alive or dead? Stupid Muhammadan. Same time, Abdul. When you say that Jesus, who was controlling the earth, according to your religion, Jesus never dies. So he's controlling the earth still. Are you making fun of your God? Is that why Jesus never died? Have you ever heard of a person never die? That is Jesus according to your religion. 
So if Jesus, his death will make him not to be God, will Jesus then not death will make him God in your cult? You are really a silly person like your prophet. Additional to that, uh, when, when a person, a human being, normally human being, he is killed. His soul is not killed. His body is killed. This is why there's separation between the spirit and the body. And Jesus, the flesh of Jesus, is just a flesh. Jesus exists before the flesh exists. This is why he said, before Abraham I am. So if they crucify the, the flesh, and that is Jesus, right? Still, the Lord never die. God never die, my friend. That is the flesh. They bury, they took to the coffin, or to the, to the tomb, the flesh of Jesus. This is why it's called, he was resurrected, re, re, which means reuniting between the spirit and the flesh. So the spirit is always alive. And this is even for a human being. The spirit is always alive. So you are silly like your prophet. Can you try to come with something better? But here we have something very important. As long as the Muslims do not believe that Jesus died, that means Jesus cannot be killed according to Islam. Muhammad, he was killed by poison from Home Depot. I don't know. I heard rumors. Some they say from Walmart. I'm not really sure. I cannot really confirm that because the hadith does not confirm any of those source. Or what the hadith says, that Muhammad, there's a woman, she is a Jew. She went to a store. This is why I'm, disclaimer, please. I'm not sure it's Walmart or $1 store or Home Depot. I'm not sure. So she went to the store and she got a little poison. She put it in a goat. And Muhammad ate the goat and he died. So what the Muslims, Muslims telling us, that we have a super person, his name is Jesus, nobody can kill him. God himself will come to save him, obviously, because this is the son, maybe, right? But Muhammad, he died by poison, rat poison, and Allah, he don't even care. And Muhammad is suffering for years because of this rat poison. And this Jewish woman, is she laughing in, in her grave at Muhammad, who claimed to be a prophet? And actually, not only that, the woman, she said to him, when he asked her, why you did that? He said, well, if you are a prophet, your God will save you. If you are a fraud, we will get rid of you. And this is exactly what happened. Because God did not save him. So the question will be here. Why Allah saved Jesus? He did not save Muhammad. If you have little brain, and I'm sure you do have little brain, you know, because you can read and write, not like your prophet. Then you should say, Okay, if I have two people in front of me, and both of them, they are important, and then a, a risk ha happen, and then I grab one and I leave the other one, that, that means that the one I grab him to save him is the most important. So that is Jesus. Your prophet is not important. And I challenge you to tell me why your God did not save Muhammad, but he saved Jesus. You tell me. You have no answer. Let me religion. So God is always in control and nobody can kill God. You know, when we say that Jesus was crucified, he died, that is the flesh of Jesus. Otherwise, God is always alive. Jesus himself, he says, nobody can take myself from me. I lay it down by myself. I lay down myself by me. Nobody can take it. What do you think? Don't mention to me, this. what do you think about this channel and that channel? Otherwise, you are promoting it. What I will think about it, you know, uh, there's a million channels. Why only this one? All of them, they say the Quran is amazing. What's wrong with you? Have you ever seen a Muslim saying the Quran is not amazing? So only that Quran, what do you think about it? Are you trying to promote it? Are you smart like Zach, Zach and Nike? He says, I'm not going to debate David Wood. And because I don't, brother sister, I'm not going to debate David Wood because that will make him famous. Like you stupid idiot, you just said his name. Are you the same as Zach and Nike? <laughs> anyway all muslim channels they claim that quran is amazing but the second we ask them a question about the quran the quran is a flat tire this is the truth you know it's amazing as long nobody question it you know anything like you know like, Saddam Hussein was amazing. Who dared to ask him a question? Amazing, you know. The second the American came, suddenly they are beating him with shoes. The same second, the American, they arrived, not even five minutes, they took his statues down. 
And it's not the American who took his status down. It was the Iraqi. But this guy was worshipped just five minutes ago. Yeah. Which countries Aramaic is spoken today? Well, it's not about a country, but you can say they speak it in Iraq, in Syria, in Lebanon. Um, I think there are some in India too, they speak Aramaic. Those are people who, like, you know, they study. Uh, but Aramaic is spread around the world and it's not a dead language. Aramaic people speak Aramaic. All Syrian people, they speak Aramaic. Like Sam Shamu, this is their language inside the house. Syrian, Chaldean, Aramaic people from Syria, you know, uh, this is their language. Yeah. Any other question? Look like the internet is fine. I was afraid that we would lose because of this, you know, this big storm in the state. It's cold. Uh, did we answer you, Abdul, about uh, this, the death of Jesus? This is what happened once I was sitting with two Muhammadan and one of them he insists you know the second he see an Arab Christian that it make them in fuel like they want to they want to they want to like they hate you you know they want to prove you wrong oh you are an Arab and you are a Christian huh how 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 so that guy the older guy he said to him don't go there don't go there because he spoke to me before he know that they are no match they don't know that I'm a Christian friends so the other guy he says to me I have a question for you please you know I said okay okay let him ask me he said, how Jesus is son of God, and then his father did not save him? I said, yeah, this is a good question. He's a son of God, his father did not save him. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That means that Jesus must be the son of God in Islam then, because his father saved him. <laughs> you should see his face. <laughs> You're crazy. Zuzu, he know every one of us, and he ignore, he don't, he don't dare. Actually, debating, debating David Wood is very easy. I mean, he's a stupid Zachary, because David Wood, he don't speak Arabic, and he can make any lie, and he cannot refute it, like the same as Mimi Hijab he did. Right? I know this is coming. You do not know Arabic, you do not know Hebrew. And uh, Elijah is God with us. David Wood, with my respect to him, I, you know, I believe David Wood is very good in making very, like, short videos. He can do really very good in short videos. But in debate, he is not good in debate. You know? He don't focus with them. He don't listen to them. Uh, he have a really statement to say. And the, the way he do the debate is like, the 10 minute for you, 10 minute for me is a joke, you know? Uh, but he is just following the steps of others. You know? But he is not really good in debate. A debate is how to be between two people uh, they have decency. So the second you know that a Muslim, he will not have decency in the debate, then you know, you need to be ready that you are not going to debate him, you are going to corner him. David Wood is not good in cornering. A Muslim don't debate. A Muslim will lie until you get him busted. And even after you get him busted, he deny that he said so. He just said it. He would say, I did not say that. So, you, you need to learn, watch every single debate with me and with Muslims. If we can call it debate, I don't call them debate really, right? I call them spanking, I call them, you know, like cornering, but debate, no. Because as I said, debate have to be between two decent people who say their belief without being ashamed of it. Muslims don't do that. Uh, so, he did not learn until now, David Wood, uh, how to debate. I don't think he will learn to, because he just, you know, he, he thinks that he's doing the right thing. This is why they are lining up to debate him, but they are not coming here to debate me. Harun, uh, Harun, he said, Jesus in heaven, and he will come back, get married, and have a children like everyone. You know Harun? I don't know if you know what Harun mean. Harun mean a cat. And that is a thinking of a cat who is horny and hold what he care for to have a female. Well, Jesus was on earth, Abdul. And if a person want to get married, 
he will get married now, not later. Hmm? You are just a Harun, like your prophet. You are just a male cat sniffing for a female. Jesus will come back and he will get married like everyone will have his children. And why he did not have a, why he did not have 13 wives like your prophet? Why did he leave, brother? Hmm, brother? Harun, just a cat. He left as a, you know, he left as a dog, he never came back as a cat, or he left as a cat, he never came back as a dog, what you can say. Don't squeeze yourself too much. My unis will come out, and something else. I don't know where this Muslim is coming to me from. According to your prophet, Jesus will come back and he will have a fight with the pig. You know the, 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 the cowboy? One side is Isa and the other side is the pig. And then Isa say to the pig, In count on three, the one who shoot first, he die. The other one die. What a stupid religion. Isa will come back to kill the pig. What a honorable mission. What a sto Why your prophet could not kill the pig? Huh? Maybe because pigs don't fight each other? Uh. Was Jesus and you know, well, you know, by flesh, Jesus is related. You say, talking about John the Baptist, but in reality, Jesus is not related to anyone. See, when the Bible says that Jesus, the son of David, that is by birth, you know, from, from, uh, from Mary, but Jesus is not the son of David, literally, uh, and not even by lineage. Why? The answer for that is from Jesus. When they said to him, Jesus said to them, what do you say of the Messiah? They said he is the son of David. Then Jesus said to them, well, how he is his son and David, he called him my God, my Lord. So Jesus is not related to anyone. Even his mother, he called her women, for he is the God of Mary. Did you notice in the Bible, Jesus, he didn't call his mother, mother. He called her women. You don't call your mother women, right? You call her mother. And the reason for that, Jesus, he made it clear that he is from above and they are from below. All they are from below, including Mary, David, all kings, all Jews, all of us, Abraham. Abraham, he bowed down to the God, the Lord, when he met him, and this, that is Jesus. Jesus said to him, he said to them, before Abraham I am. He said to them, how, you know, you are not even 50 years old. When you met Abraham, he said, truly, truly, I say to you, that Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced for it. Um, anyway, do we have any other question? Suppose this is five minute video. What's, what's wrong with you people? You see, you keep me now. Already it's 40 minutes. Can you believe it? I suppose I will make a video just about the book. Unbelievable. My friend, Everything in Islam is a proof to us that Islam and Muhammad is a fraud. Look at this. Look at the hadith in front of us. Jesus, the one who, if you touch his clothing, you heal. If you touch his clothing, you will be healed. Remember the story of the women? She just touched his clothing. She was healed immediately. Muhammad is dying from poison bought from Walmart. That alone is proving to us the story of Muhammad being a fraud. And not only that, 
The story here says something very important. It says, I feel as my aorta being cut off from the poison. And then we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, we find that Muhammad, he promised that his God told him that if he is fabricating Quran, I mean fabricating the word of God, his God will cut his artery. Do you see it? So Muhammad, he predicted his death as a fraud. Isn't it amazing? Some might say, does that mean that Allah, he killed him? I say, no, that I believe that my Lord, he decide that he will let him die the way he promised if he is a liar. So we can see the proof. That's our Lord. He made it happen this way. So Muhammad, when he says, I feel like my artery is cutting off. And Muhammad is the one who said, if I am lying, if I am fabricating Quran, Allah will size me from my right hand. And, and we should certainly then cut off his artery. Why Jesus sent Old Testament down and change it New Testament? Uh, a, 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 I like your name, my friend. You are like a small battery. Try to make it big. Keep trying. First of all, who is the ignorant? He told you that we changed the Old Testament. Give me his name. Isn't it Jesus? He said, I came to complete, not to destroy. So you are ignorant. You do not know what you are saying. But you are a small battery. What we can do? Jesus, uh, when we speak about the Old Testament, uh, every, every time, have a law as an example in certain time, uh, the children of Adam, they can marry their sisters. But later it's not allowed, right? So is God a changing? No. Uh, in certain time, a person, he marry uh, two women, like Abraham. He have Sarah, and he have uh, the the servant who became his wife, the mother of Ishmael. Because there's no law that says don't marry more than one. So uh, God don't God don't change, but th there's a law fit for the time, and time is changing. Human is going forward, and God is giving them what is fit for them. So nothing change. But anyway, AA battery is not working. Uh, do we have any uh, any other Muslim trying to think? It, it hurt. It hurt to think these days, you know. Anyone? The question is for you as a Muslim, why Muhammad did not approve, what did not follow the Old Testament? Why Muhammad did not follow the New Testament? The Muslim did say that Muhammad, he followed Musa's, okay. Musa's, he kept the Sabbath. Do the Muslims keep the Sabbath? No. Musa's, he said, don't commit adultery. Muhammad is the, the biggest adulterer. Right? The Muslim they say that uh, uh, Islam is against the statues and we are not pagans and then we find them kissing black stones and not only that, God is ordering his prophet Solomon to build synagogues full of statues. Chapter 34 verse number 13. If you read the translation, the Muslim they try to hide it. But do you see the word images? Hmm? change the translator you will find that Islam is the religion who decorate their temples by statues we ask the Muhammadan why he have statues any Muhammadan here can tell us why he have statues who the Muslim can tell us why Solomon is following the God ordered Allah supposedly in this case and having statues isn't it the Old Testament says, don't make an image for what is above or down in earth. 
to worship what was the status for and look until now we changed many translator translators we could not find a translation say the status they took it off let us see a different one uh itani maybe huh. finally it appeared they tried to hide it see it statues in the house of Allah and not only Suleiman I mean Muhammad is a person of a cartoon Suleiman he have a flying carpet the journey of the flying carpet as a month I mean why it's so slow that's very slow look at this and then if you read the interpretation according to Muhammad the army of uh, Solomon, I forgot the, the size, it is 3,000 mile long. What kind of army this army is? Solomon, he have a 3,000 mile, 3,000 mile long army. And then his ministers, they sit in the roof. And the roof of his palace in the top of the flying carpet and the flying carpet carries 600,000 chairs and all his kingship from animals horses donkeys food etc all in the flying carpet true story and then a Muslim he questioned how God can be three I mean all those stories is not questionable in Islam but how God can be three tell me please how God can be three Okay, God, he can be, he's God, he's God Almighty. Now, why you call him Almighty if he cannot? What's wrong with you Muslims? Can Allah have a son? No, Allah cannot have a son. That's because he's not Almighty. My God, he can. A smart Muhammadan, you will say. Uh, uh, not smart Muhammad, actually. The smart, smart Muhammad himself, he says that Jesus and his mother, they used to eat food, brother. What the heck? First of all, why you are inserting the name of Mary? Why? Because Muhammad, he believed that the Christian, they worship Mary. But we don't, idiot. Secondly, if that will prove that Jesus is not God, that will be the opposite. Because my God, he can eat food, still he can be God. Your God cannot eat food. <laughs> can Allah eat food? No, brother, he cannot. So he's not God. He is almighty. He, nothing will, will change him. What will happen to him if he eats food? Can Allah have a son? No, brother. Why? He cannot because he doesn't have a girlfriend. That means he is like a man like me. I don't have a girlfriend. Therefore, I don't have a son. My God, he do not need a girlfriend. And the funny, the Muslim themselves, they expose their stupidity, the stupidity of their prophet, and they translate it. The, the translation it's, it, it itself is, is, a, is a disaster. Because how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Then how you say he's Almighty God? Look at this. How, this is the Muslim saying that, not me. And this is the Quran. How can he have a son when he never had a companion? This is an answer you say from, for, about God. Well, do God need a companion? And somebody told you that Jesus is a son of the companion of God? How you can refute the Christian by saying this? The Christian don't believe that Mary, she married to God, and then they have a baby is Jesus. You see the stupidity? This book is written by a certified mule. Not to talk about the mule, not to ignore the mule. Allah is the one, you remember Faisal when he caught me? Uh, he, he caught for me a verse when he was with me live just two days ago. He said, what the heck? And he can't remember where is that in the Quran. This is the funny about Muslims. He, he is the one who caught in it and I know where it is. <laughs> so and then I showed him what he what he caught for me, and he he could not answer. I mean, this is this is this is stupid. This is stupid. The verse is speaking about Allah creating a mule. Mule? Yes, brother.
but mule are not created. God created horse. God created a donkey. And remember here, this is like it's not uh, not a, not a person meditation saying, okay, God created this. God, this is God Himself talking. It's a mule religion. Thank you, my friend, and Messiah, you have back. God bless you. And then, I don't know, yesterday you heard the news. There's a, there's a, a terrorist, he came all the way from England. Uh, and he, he went to a synagogue, and uh, he went to release a terrorist, a female terrorist. What's wrong with those people? And do you think really you can do it? Just because you enter a synagogue, those Americans, they will give you what you want. Even if there's a thousand people inside, they will not let it go. The potato. You remind me of my father when I was a kid. The mafia kidnapped me and they asked for three million dollars. My father, he called him again. He says, keep him and I will give you the money. Just don't send him back. And then after four, 24 hours, the mafia, they released me because they cannot take it no more. They give up in the money, they give up in everything, and they run away. Actually, they quit their business. You are flying all the way from England, coming to a synagogue, and you think they will let you even... Uh, uh, this is America, my friend. This is not England. Here they shoot. Here they don't talk. They shoot. They shoot you after that, they ask, what's your name? This is America. Unbelievable. What, you don't believe me about the mafia story? This is a true story, Sayyid Bukhari. <laughs> Why my story is not accepted? Why? I mean, you are hurting my feeling now. Honestly. This is Sayyid Bukhari, brother. Sayyid Bukhari. <clears throat> oh boy he's a Pakistani yeah this is why they should not give them visas you know this visa like you know because you are European they give you visa easy they should not give visas honestly this is America the only place there is like the police is easy because of the Democrat is California if you go to California you are a thief they do not even arrest you but other states they will make you shish kebab, especially in Texas. Everybody have guns. And I'm surprised, actually, inside the synagogue, nobody have guns. No problem, eh, eh, eh. No problem. And the other day in Walmart, there is a woman. She is looking for her, uh, for her uh, credit card. She starts putting things on the table. The bullets came out, the gun came out. She cannot find the credit card. Women here, they don't carry uh, hair comb. They carry guns. This is America, the cowboy land. Be careful, especially Texas, you are right. Um, do we have any, uh, any question? But anyway, I'm so glad that Allah, he created the mule. You know? Yeah. According to Quran, the snake walk. You see, if you don't speak Arabic, you will not know how stupid that is. In Arabic, when we say yamshi, yamshi means walk literally by legs. Anyone, the snake, the tashaf. Does have, which mean she is moving, but creeping in her belly. Yamshi, it's mean you have legs. The Quran says that those creatures they walk in their belly. Every animal, not animal, actually, the dabba is not an animal. Dabba is anything walk on the ground. Dabba, you know, this is stupid translation again. 
every DAB uh, created from water. Some of them, they walk in their belly, and some of them, they walk in their legs. And look, even the translation tried to fix it. It says a creep. But in Arabic, the same word used here, walk, is the same word used here. But the translator should decide to, to fix it. Read it. Yamshi. This is Yamshi. On its belly. And this is Yamshi. Yamshi means walk. And they say to you, the Quran is the best Arabic book. Actually, there's a sheikh. There's a sheikh. He's an Iraqi sheikh. If you watch this guy videos, you will die laughing. But sadly, he don't make videos in English. I don't know if he speaks English. And no Muslim dare to say to him, what are you talking about? Yeah, the motive of the attack is a mental illness. They are, he's right. It's mental illness. It's Islam. Anyone who attack, he's a terrorist, they will say he is suffering from mental illness. Do you remember when the, uh, when there is a refugee camp in Germany was burned? Article written, the Nazis, the fascists, the white supremacists, the blah, 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 He's suffering from stress. <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> if the Germans burn it, they are Nazi. They are fascist. If the Syrian refugee burn it, he is suffering from stress. Like, he is killing his own people. The one inside is a refugee. So what? What is stress? The all of us, we have a stress. Find me one. Yeah, thank God I'm not married. Find me one married man is not having stress. Like, look at them. You know, look how, how many of you are here is married? Did you watch the shiz? Here we go. So, you, what, you go to kill people? He burn houses or he burn the camp? He's a stress now. He's untried. Like, it's not easy to be a refugee, to be an wow. They desperately try to find an excuse for them. Yeah. Corrupt media. And hold on, soon we will have the media of Trump. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> and honestly, they are really scared because, because, you know, not millions, tons of millions, they will leave those scam, you know, uh, programs uh, because they are sick of the control. They, they decide who, 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 uh, who can make income, who cannot make income. They decide what you can say, what you cannot say. They are, you know, they are communist dictators, terrorists. Uh, Jesus never uh, preached Trinity. He never claimed to be God. He did not uh, commanded his followers to build a church. He was a Jew like every Jew. Okay, BV6. Uh, I will try to make of your comment a better vibrator. But it's because it's not vibrating anything. Look what you just said. Jesus never preached Trinity. Did Jesus say my father? Did Jesus his only son say it? <laughs> his only son. <laughs> no one knows the father but the son. That Jesus says God and his spirit. So you are silly. Jesus never claimed this bigger trinity. Every chapter in the Bible, Jesus talked talking about trinity. Secondly, he never claimed to be God. So why Jesus says that he is the son of God and he is from above and you are from below? Are you from above? I heard that your mother-in-law, she throw you from the second floor. That make you from above. According to my understanding. Is that the case? Jesus never claimed to be God. Jesus claimed to be God. No, he did not claim to be God only. He proved that he is God. For he said to them, who can prove me to be a sinner? Every human being is a sinner. Isn't it the Bible says only God is good? When, when a person, he says to him, 
you are good he said to him why you are calling me good when only god is good which means how you know i am good the god the good god and then jesus says i am the good shepherd so my friend if your mother law she throw you from above and you think that you are smart now well you are not vibrating you are not moving and then he says he was a jew no he was not a jew he was sent to the jew because those are his people waiting for him. This is why Jesus said before Abraham I am. Abraham was not a Jew, in case you do not know. So his existence have nothing to do with the Jews because he exists before the Jews are exist. Again, you are a potato. Try something else. Okay? And I don't blame your mother-in-law for throwing you from the top of the synagogue. I mean, those people, they go, you see those questions, they can be uh, troubling maybe for somebody, but not with me. Don't play here. Don't play here. We make you shish kebab, literally. Where is Jesus now? He is in heaven. I don't know. He is not God. Did Jesus forgive sin? The Jews, they said to themselves, who is this person who forgives sin? Only God can forgive sin. Anyway, you know what? The only the only thing I want, like I'm I'm really amazed with, is how Jesus is patient with a human being. I mean, look at the stupidity of a human being. Those people deserve to go to heaven, deserve mercy. I say to you, no, they don't deserve mercy. But he is loving. What I can say, he said, no, I will still give them mercy if they repent. So be thankful that. The Messiah don't think like me. Otherwise, I will send you. I will send you one ticket. You know the song, one way ticket. One way ticket to the moon, to the bloom, not to the moon. But I will send you to the moon. You know, so you can live there. Yeah, start your own wisdom. Anything else? So, guys, don't forget to download the book. We have it down in the info. It's in Tamil language, and whoever you know, he speak Tamil. If you, even if you don't know the Tamil language, please download the, the book, put it in the G drive because this link might disappear. So download it, share it with your friends, post it in YouTube, post it, uh, sorry, in Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want, you know. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you are right, Anthony. But you know, if they decide that Jesus is not God, he is not God. If Muhammad says he is God, he is God. You know why the Muslims didn't make fun of Mary being virgin? Because Muhammad says so. If Muhammad he said not, you will see every single Muslim making fun of it. This is the truth. Uh, does the Quran ever get other our belief right? No, the Quran think that Trinity is Mary, Jesus, and uh, and uh, and Allah. Same time, even that is not is not functioning because in different verse the Quran says that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah. Okay, if the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person and who is the second the third person? <laughs> Any Abdul can help us? If the, if the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah, who is the second person? Who is the third person? <laughs> hey Christians, do you believe that Christ is the Father? The answer, no. We don't. Christ is not the Father, he is the Son. The dummy Muhammad, he says, the Christian, they say, when he say that Allah, he's saying the Father, supposedly, right? So, the Christian, they say that the Messiah is Allah, but the, if, if, if the Christian, they say the Messiah is Allah, who is the second and who is the third? <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> do the Muslims curse Jews in their daily prayer? Yes, they do, and they ask Allah not to be like us too, not only like the Jews. So if you go to chapter Al-Fatiha, verse number, you know, uh, uh, the last verse, uh, you will see the Quran here when they say, and don't make us, 
show us the way, the way of those whom you bestowed your grace, and those uh, uh, and, and translation here. This is really, what a translation change. This is Yusuf Ali, the, the idiot. Let us see different idiot. Uh, so they ask him to guide us to the straight way. But uh, by the way, here that the, the whole chapter is a stupid because if Allah is talking, how he say in the name of Allah? And then if you ask yourself, in the top it says here, in the name of the, the, the Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. This is the Trinity, the three. God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you ask the Muslims, why three? Why Allah, he is, you know, and this is learned here later from Muhammad, from, from people around him. And then if you see, ask yourself, if Allah is talking, how in the world he say in the name of Allah? And then how he says, all praise be to Allah. This is stupid. You see, here, the Quran does not say, hey, pray like this. Then that will make it the same as when Jesus says to the Christians, pray like that. Our Father out of heaven. No, this is Allah talking. He's not praying, right? He's not praying. If he's not praying, he's doing what then? In the name of Allah, the most merciful, merciful. Okay, who is talking? Allah. Why Allah is saying the name of Allah? Then all praises and thanks to Allah. Why Allah is saying all thanks to Allah? And then Allah is the Lord of Alameen. What the stupid statement. Uh, he is the Lord of the mankind and the genie. <laughs> what genies? And then he repeat again the most Rahman uh, 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 al-Rahim. By the way, when you say the most, this is stupid. This is not in the, uh, in the Arabic. In Arabic, it says Rahman al-Rahim. This is exactly what it says Rahman al-Rahim. There's no most. There's no most here. See the most here? It's not exist. Rahman al-Rahim. Why are you repeating the same again? And then Allah, he says, the owner of the, why Allah saying that? And we want to thank you, Allah. You are the owner of the day of judgment. What does that mean? And then it is you who worship. Allah is worshiping Allah. And then he continue here and here they start cursing the Christians and the Jews. They say, don't make us the same as the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Those are the Jews. Now here, I wonder why they did not put the Jews there. You see, they put a lot of a bracket, but here they refuse to put the bracket about the Jews and the Christians. <clears throat> Anyway, what you expect. And you know, the Muslim, they say to you that the Quran is not changed, right? Okay, what is the first chapter Allah, he gave Muhammad? They say to you, chapter Al-Alaq, but this is 96. Why 96 is not the first one? They say to you, brother, the prophet, he command us to change it, show me. And secondly, who is the prophet who how a prophet of God, he is commanding you to change his, the book of God. If this is the first one, Allah. Yeah, I'm scared. Yeah, even Allah have a dog, what you can say? Muhammad, he, if you go to the chapter of An-Najm, you know, the star, when the star fell. So Muhammad, he says to his cousin, uh, believe in the God of the star. He said, I don't want to believe in the God of the star. Then he said to him, aren't you afraid that the God of the star will send his dog to eat you? Like, what the heck? God and he have a dog? And then according to the stories of the Muslims, his cousin, he go in a trip to Yemen. In the way, a dog, he came, but he have a voice of a lion. What the heck? A dog with the voice of a lion? Yes, brother. They speak languages. <laughs> anyway. What does Amin mean when Muslims say it? First, Amin is not an Arabic word. This is Aramaic. You say it too. This is taken from us. Muhammad is a fraud. He is copying the Christians and the Jews. Amin, which means I agree. I agree with this. Any Muhammadan? And actually, if you read this chapter here, one of the most stupid chapters in the Quran ever, 
if you ask them who is the one who is coming down they will say Jibreel where it says Jibreel you see in the, in the translation he says Jibreel it says here Tadalla you know Tadalla Tadalla in Arabic you use it if you are using a rope like rope you know like like you send you send a container for the water inside the well of the water that is Tadalla it's something not coming fast it's something holding a rope and coming down so uh, uh, it's, uh, it's the opposite of uh, climbing so uh, the the uh, this person is a uh, uh, one of mighty power is as Jabril is the one of mighty power and then this person uh, he rose and became a stable like uh, Jabril became a stable <laughs> What does that mean? The Muslims until now, they cannot explain a sentence of this chapter. And they are confused. Is that Allah who came down or this is Jibreel who came down? Nowhere in the chapter says Jibreel. Nowhere. Actually, the chapter here is speaking about someone must be God. And the Muslim, they insert Jibreel. What make it more horrible when he says that he revealed to his slave. So if Jibreel is the one is coming, how Muhammad is his slave? Oh, Lord have mercy. You see here? So he did Allah. Look, suddenly Jibreel became Allah. It was Jibreel a second ago, and now it's Allah. So did Allah convey the inspiration to his slave like, who is the one is down they say Jibreel so why you are saying Allah because here we have a problem it says to his slave otherwise in Arabic there's no nowhere it says Jibreel nowhere just to fix it what does uh, 786 I mean, I, I saw that before. I forgot really what this is. I, mean, I think this is only spread in Pakistan. Uh, let me search it. I forgot. Uh, I forgot what 786 means. 786. Huh. What is number uh, 786 symbolic in Islam? I remember I saw something like this before and we okay the number 786 that mean Muslims uh, sub Arabic numerology called Abjad Hawaz 1500 years okay Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim yeah so simply here they are the numbers are related to the words and they come with the with the numbers and then, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, here we go, we have here a, a commercial. Thank you very much. So they say to you here, uh, that those numbers, they will end with the, of, of the phrase, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, they end with 786. Uh, but this is really, uh, uh, actually, let me take a picture of this one, I need it. Guys, do you remember when the Muslims, uh, they talk about the numbers of the chapters, like uh, Rashad Khalifa? You can use this one to prove Islam to be fraud. But however, here the numbers are wrong. Why? Because Bism does not exist in Arabic. There's nothing that's called in Arabic. Bism. It is Bism. So here, there's an Alif. Let us make it. Bism, not Bism. All right. And then here, a Rahman. A Rahman. We can show it to you in, in, the, in the Quran, in the original Quran. You see a Rahman here, if you look at it, 
it have a shadda. Allah has a shadda. And here, 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 the, how, how they play their game. How come they calculated the one have a shadda 30, 30 twice? Oh, no, they don't calculate actually. They calculate this L and this L twice, 30, 30. But by having shadda, actually, this is, will make it two letters. Two letters, not only one. Same for here, Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman have a shadda in the top. Shadda mean it is two letters, but you know there's a there's a person who came to fix the Quran, so he add those things, and that is a shadda. Let me make it more thin, so the writing will be. So here in the top of the ra, there is a shadda. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahman. So the ra is a twice, so the thirty is going to be two thirty. The 30 here twice is going to be 3 because there's a shadda in the top of L. So that would make it additional 3. 30. The number is already broken, right? And Aleph is equal to 1. There's an Aleph here. And then that goes the same. Ar-Rahim. Actually, and not, only, not only that. Uh, Ar-Rahim here have the same shadda too. So we have to add another 30. Ar-Rahim. Alright? Uh, and not only that, there's Aleph here. The liars, they took it off. Even in the original Quran, it shows. Do you see it? There's a short, 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 short Aleph. This is just for art writing. They make it short. Do you see it? Here. Do you see it? So those numbers are made by a fraud, like their prophet. Because having one more number will break all their calculation and all of it, it will end the stupid. You know, fiction. Uh, so there's Aleph here. In their calculation, they did not count it. They took it off. Why you are taking off the Aleph? Because we cannot make the numbers then by having the Aleph here. Right? And we cannot make the numbers here if we have the Shadda. We took it off. Shadda means there's two letters. You can watch, there's a, there's a video made by this guy, what's his name? The guy who take off his t-shirt to girls, you know, to show on his muscles. I forgot his name. The one who made the scandals, he sent naked pictures. Sheikh. Yeah. yeah. He, in his video, he will show you that Ar-Rahman is too, too Ra. Allah is too El. Ar-Rahim is too Ra. And not only that, if we go in the Quran, we will find Bis Bism. This is only written here, this way, they could Alif because they want to make it easier to recite. They are trying to fix the language. Otherwise, Bism is written like this in the Quran itself, the correct way. Do you see it? This is the correct Bism. The Ism. In Arabic, there is nothing Bism. They make it Bism just to make it easy to recite. Otherwise, the Quran will look ugly. Bismillah, you know, so they make it Bism. But this is the correct way to write the word. So all their calculation is a fraud. I hope I did answer you. All right. This is what happened when, when people, they are desperate, trying to find God in their books, but there's no God in their book. No. The first thing came to Muhammad is a is a proof of Muhammad to be fraud. Anyone remember what the same the first thing the angel he said to him supposedly? Who remember? It's in the front of us on the screen, chapter ninety six, verse number one. The first thing alone proved to us that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? It says, "Read, read in the name of your Lord." Well, Muhammad do not know how to read, according to Muslims. Did Allah use the wrong word? What do you think? Well, what read? If the guy do not know how to read. And secondly, if Allah says to a person, read, and he cannot read, isn't it Allah Almighty, he can make him read? If Jesus says, 
to an elephant read, the elephant will read. Jesus, he said to the blind, see, he saw, the one who cannot walk, walk, he walk. Your sin is forgiven, your sin is forgiven. Carry your bed and walk, walk. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read, till Muhammad cannot read. In the same time, what is the point of saying to him, read, if you do not give him a book? There's a smart Muslim teams, they decide to refute me about this point, and they made a video, I don't know if it still exists on YouTube, as usual, Christian Prince, he lie, you know? And they fix it, they say, no, the word read here mean recite, that make it more horrible, because recite is, is, is repeating something from your memory. <laughs> there's evident he could write and read, yeah, there is evident he can write and read, but we go with the Muslim belief, what we can do. We have to go with the Muslim belief. The Muslim, they insist that he do not know how to read. So if if, uh, if read here means recite, which is stupid to say, but we will go with it, that means Muhammad is a fraud again because he recites something from his memory. He don't recite, you know? And then another, another Abdul, he decided to fix it because the first two Abdul, they could not. He said, no, it does not mean read, it does not mean recite, it means repeat. Okay, if it's me repeat, why Muhammad, he says, I can't repeat. By saying that, he repeated. Imagine I say to you, repeat after me, and then you say to me, I can't, and I can't repeat after you, like you just did. <laughs> you know, the stupidity, they are desperate, they can't solve it. So the first, the first uh, sentence Muhammad you receive is a proof of Muhammad to be fraud. And look at them, how many Muslims now in the chat? Not a single one can tell us what's happening here. You know, is it read? Is it recite? It's repeat. It doesn't matter what they choose. It's going to be horrible. Muhammad making poo, poo The poo of Muhammad is unlimited. And then, supposedly, Allah is the first knowledge given to Muhammad is how he created the baby. Look how he created the baby. He created the man from piece of thick congealed blood. So anyone have little brain, the first two sentences Muhammad received prove Muhammad to be a fraud. Are we created from a thick blood? Are we? Congealed dead blood? <laughs> oh boy, it's cold. Oh. You are created from congealed dead blood. Yes, brother. That's why the English, they say, the bloody you. Hmm. Do you Arab have any link to Abraham and Hajar? No, the Arab have nothing to do with Abraham. Abraham is an Aramaic man. You see, you need to know a little bit of, uh, of, of language. Aram, Aram. The word Aram mean the one who live in high hills. High hill, like high hills, like you know, not mountain, but highland. Oh, sorry. Aram. Arab is not a name of an ethnic. It is whoever live in the desert. The word Arab is a desert in the Aramaic language. Arabian is those who live in the desert. In other way, as you are, you are saying, the Bedouin. The Bedouin. It is a word used to, ex to explain where they live and how savage they are. So like when you say barbarian, you know, today they use it to explain that they are, you know, they were like uh, an uncivil. So Arab is a word used to explain or to describe people who live in the desert who they are uncivil. Aram is for those who they are civil, who live in high land and they do farming and they do like, you know, normal life. And they have houses. They are not moving from place to place. Uh, so when somebody says to you, I'm an Arab, he is saying, I am from the people of the desert. He is not from an ethnic. There's nothing called Arab as 
people belong to a father who is an Arab. This does not exist. This is a lie. And we can prove that actually from the Quran. If you go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, you will see the word explained easy. All of this speaking about the Arab, all those verses, many, many times, all right? So chapter 9, verse number 90, as an example. What the Muslim they translate to you, they say the Bedouin. Do you see it? This is what the Arab means. They are the Bedouin. It's not an ethnic. This is the word in Arabic, Al-Arab. Right? Well, my friend, you have 107 lies. No problem, you can say so, but you cannot call me and prove me with one of them because you are a potato. 107, only 107. So all these things I said about Muhammad, I did lie only 107. That's very really good. <laughs> That's mean I am I am really telling the truth. <laughs> 107 lies, but yet you don't dare to call me and challenge me with one of them why because you know you are the one is lying so the arab is the bedouin they are not ethnic that's why if you go right now they will say okay the the egyptian today they call themselves arab okay, well, the egyptian are not arab they are african they are not from the arabian uh, uh, peninsula desert are they no Moroccan, they call themselves Arab. Well, what the Moroccan have to do with the people of Mecca and people of uh, uh, Kuwait and people of Bahrain? And, and actually, uh, even those who live in uh, such countries like Bahrain, uh, Emirat, those are Pakistani. They are not really from an ethnic from the location of that land. They are immigrant. And I showed you many examples before. As an example, you might say to yourself, what Pakistan have to do with this? Pakistan is so close. It's just a few hours by the sea. Even the Muslim, they say that Adam himself was an Indian, or he landed in India. So the Muslims acknowledge that their their even religion coming from India. So just to give you an example, if I show you a picture of this guy and you do not know who is this guy, aren't you going to say this guy from Pakistan? This is the Prince of Qatar. And you can do the same for the rest of them. All those who live in the desert of Arabia, they look Pakistani. Another word from India, all of them. And now they are because of they became so rich and so wealthy, they are marrying white women, so they, their children, they became mixed. But the truth is their food is Indian. Their clothing is Indian. Go and see how people of Emirat used to dress not long time ago before the money. How the people of Bahrain used to dress. Actually, most of Bahrain right now is a Shia. They are from, from, from Iran. So Arab are not really exist as, a, as an ethnic. Today, those who speak Arabic, they call themselves Arab. But in reality, there is no Arab really. Well, the word Arab means anyone who live in the desert. So if you live in Las Vegas, you are an Arab. This is what the language means. However, it's meant at that time is those who live in the Arabian uh, what we call Arabian Desert, uh, Peninsula today. Uh, so in that territory, those are the, the Bedouin who live there. <clears throat> See, we are giving you the meaning of the word. 
This why here it says Al-A'rab. The second you see Al-A'rab, the Muslim themselves translate. This is 9, chapter 97. Look. How they translate? The Bedouin. Why didn't say the Arab? If they are ethnic. Because there's no uh, ethnic. Those are the gypsy. The gypsy of Arabia. They move from place to place. Right? They don't have houses. If they are an ethnic, they will not call them the Bedouin. Because Bedouin is anyone who lives in a tent. Doesn't matter what ethnic you belong to. Right? See, each time the word appear, it appear as the Bedouin. <clears throat> And by the way, I encourage all Muslims to make videos against me. Prove me to be a liar, because that will bring more Muslims to me. That's why a lot of Muslims leave Islam. They come first from Muslim channels. It's for our benefit, actually. They come here, and they will see that we are refuting them. And they don't dare even to call me. Those who claim that I am lying, they don't dare to call. Do they? Who's holding them? There's no Arab in Palestine, my friend. Palestine, if you go and see the leader of Hamas, they are blonde. They have a blonde hair. How they are an Arab. Those are the slaves of the Arab who invade. They rape their mothers. You know? But they are still, the, you know, a few of the Arab they came, or the people of the desert. There's no Arab. What do you know about Islam? What a question. You remind me of a person, he asked a question to the computer, he, you know, the computer get explode. He said to him, what's up? The computer got so hot, so active, and then explode. What do you know about Islam? That's a good question. Uh, always you need to ask yourself if Muslims can refute me and a Christian prince is lying I show reference how the Muslims they refute me as an example if I show a hadith let us say this hadith here how they can refute Christian prince they say this hadith is reported by Yunus from Az Zuhuri, from Arwa, from Aisha. Az Zuhuri is very well known to be a liar. This is how they refuse. So, if he is a liar, why you put his, put his statement in the. Do you see this? This is stupidity. This is not refutation to me, this is refutation to you. Because if there is a person, he is a liar, and then you take what the liars say and you put it in his book, who is the donkey then? This is not a refutation. This is this is proof that you are a donkey. Read the sister. This hadith is reported by Abdul. Abdul told it to Abdullah. Abdullah told it to Abdullah. Abdullah, and Abdullah, Abdullah, he is known to be a liar. Therefore, this hadith is not accepted. Like what the heck? So the one who collected the hadith, who narrated the hadith from Abdullah, Abdullah, and Lula. He did not notice that this guy is a liar? Obviously he did not. You are the Abdul in YouTube who noticed that. Your scholar did not notice. <laughs> and this is a refutation. Lie number one, lie number two, lie number three, lie number four. 